Hey guys, welcome to the 21st episode of my drift life. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to buy a M3 with $3,000. So here she is. In this video, I will cover how do I get to this point, what do I getting for $3,000 as an M3, and is this the best way that you can source a car, you guys can make the call. So, being able to drift in an M3 is always my dream since I learned how to drive. So, I've been inspired for every single model of the BMW M3. So that's why I also got this, the latest uh, F80 M3, two years ago. But that car is just too luxury, too expensive to for me to max it around. So that's why I decided to get the first drift car, which is um, the S13. Um, have been treating me well. After I learned it and I start having confidence to for drifting, I decided to get my second new project, which is always my dream the M3 yeah I wish it was this one but it is not so here she is she's a 95 E36 M3 with 300,000 miles on the chassis the engine was rebuilt 180 k miles before the title is clean, low acid report before, so it's a clean car. A little bit high mile, but everything is fully functioning. So now I'm gonna walk through all the details about this car. Okay, let's start from the engine bay. It looks super good, clean bomb stock. The only mode uh, I can see is the Dynan intake, which is a plus. I'll say Danon is a, a good brand, right? So it's it just like SPT for STI. There were some oil marks on the valve cover um, because the previously the valve cover gasket was a little bit leaking and then the previous owner has replaced it already. So there was no leak. It actually has a very small oil leaks from the oil fitting right underneath the valve cover. and. Um, that's not a big deal and we could totally change that later and let's go into the interior and take a look at it and as you can see the um, all the seat is just wear out I will probably change that because I I will have full cage on and have the racing seat so interior is no worry steering wheel also has a wear off and I'll probably have the quick release the car comes right on every time I try to fire it up and it also has a sign that the car, car is actually healthy all the windows the rooftop or rooftop the Roof glass, roof window is working too, and yeah, so no grind on shifting. Clutch, I would say, is a little bit loose. Um, I would guess the, if I use for drifting, the clutch won't last long, so I I would prepare budget for that. The gearbox seems fine, engine seems fine, no hiccups while I'm driving back from the buying place it's about an hour drive and the car is adding as it is fully mechanical functioning and let me walk through the paint and the exterior so the car is missing some of the trims from the front bumper and the wheel bumpers and as you can see the rooftop it, the clear coat is all wear out because the California sun and we also have a, a little bit rust on the window trim 
those metal trims as you can see is fully replaceable it's nothing about the chassis or the body so which is so good as the age of the car and the mouse um, yeah I'm probably gonna wrap it in the future but I didn't decide what color I'm going to do a kind of like the original color so maybe let's see there was one bolt in the um, tensioner is loosened uh, when I try to tighten it up it, it feels very loose still which I think is already been stripped it. so I probably need to remake the fret for that um, which is not a big deal as well and um, because there was no water or oil leaks from there and here's the oil marks from the small oil leaks on the fittings and there was missing corner lines it, it wasn't missing I just took it out because um, I need to fix a couple uh, trimming issues um, during the video Oh, there was one more thing there was cracks on the windshield which may cost about 200 bucks to replace it and next is where do I get it so it's been I have been into the market for a while so I've been searching looking through doing my own homework so I've been seeing the E36 is about 7,000 for decent shape of the car probably 150k to 180k sometimes 200k so with good interior and somewhere of exterior um, the source portal usually is just Craigslist and marketplace Facebook marketplace and so but I don't have so much budget for the next project so I was thinking before is uh, getting a E39 which has about two to three thousand right now for manual V8 which is also a very good candidate but they don't have a lot of aftermarket parts and then the E46 right now is about thirty thousand dollars which is too expensive and I don't want a salvage car you can probably get a salvage car E36 M3 for that price mm, but I just don't like it because every dollar I try to put into a salvage title car is not gonna give the return when I sell it so that's why keep searching it for 3000 car you don't expect everything to be perfect so you just try to see what's the priority you try to have for me is the driving train as long as the engine is working there was no grinding on the transmission I think the rest I can probably fix it in a cheaper price as you guys already know I'm start building up this car for drifting remember to subscribe to follow how it will turn out as a drift build I'm really excited about it. I guess you will as well. I'll see you guys on the next episode.